We're going to conclude with a few veterans and originals from the squad, Megan Rapino and Jess Fishlock. I mentioned that you were both originals with the squad in 2013. Pino's a half original. Half original. I Easy. Oh, just saying. She turned up late. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. Thank God. So the original. I think you were 10 games in with one point. stupid at that point. I only not. ended up with like eight points. It's fine. I didn't help that much. Yeah, we didn't even bring up old yeah, stuff. That's where we started. Where's Beto? She knows about that. <laughs> brought her back to a better place. <laughs> what is it about this city and this club that keeps you here? Well, you got to be careful if you ask for a trade, don't you? Yeah. It, uh, it's scary out there. Um, I mean, we're pretty good, so it's not like we're trying to go anywhere else. Um, <laughs> I mean, I think first and foremost, uh, we have two incredible owners um, that treat us, yes, shout out Bill. Teresa's in Honduras saving the world, so shout out Teresa. Um, you know, that, that treat us with the utmost respect and um, try to make this not only the most professional club that they can possibly make it, but um, truly the goal is to be the best team in the world. So everything that they do, everything um, that they try to do, and the players they bring in, and um, the coaches they bring in, hopefully this year will... Yeah. I guess he's all right. Um, <laughs> you know, they, they truly have that goal of being the absolute very best. Um, so if, as a player, that's, that's really all you want, is to be pushed in that way and be challenged and be in an environment that... Um, not only is going to treat you that way, but is going to challenge you in that way to, to bring your best every day. Yeah, you know, Pino says everything that we all believe and, and why we stay here. But I always think that, you know, we are football players, but before we're football players, we're human beings. And that is what this club is built off firstly and foremost. And that's why, like Bill and Teresa, they do such a great job because the decisions that they make, you know, they make surrounding who we are as people not just who we are as football players. And they don't forget that, and they don't lose sight of that. Um, and from what I've seen, uh, our new manager is exactly the same. And I think that that is a fantastic way to, to move forward in this group. Also, really good food, really good coffee. It's really beautiful. Could be a lot worse. So yes. the city keeps us here as well. Could be a yeah. That would suck. <laughs> I do like Portland. I like the city. Um, so you have seen the ups and downs of, pre of, of previous years with this club. What is it? Is there anything that feels different or new or exciting going into this year? Everything. <laughs> Everything is new. Every single thing. Exciting. Yeah. It's, it feels like it's new, but it's not. Mm -hmm. You know? And I think that, I think Bonds, you touched on it earlier, that change is, is good. You know, and I think we've made changes, but we haven't made changes that changes the club. We've just made changes that will make the club better. And I think that that is ultimately what we all want as players, as fans. Um, and we, you know, we really want to do what we want to do to the best of our ability. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, you know, when you're coming in, I think a couple of the players would have been exactly like you guys. Everything's changed, you know, it's so new. Is it going to be the rain? I'm going to tell you, it's absolutely the rain. And, and nothing from that standpoint has changed at all. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it, it's old, but it's new. It's new, but it's old. We're the same thing. <laughs> it's better, which is good. It's better, uh, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. think, you know, from we, we tried our best the last two seasons, but it, you know, it, it wasn't good enough. And ultimately, we want to win and win championships, win the league, win every game, win everything we possibly can. So um, we had to do something different and um, you know, spruce up the roster. And uh, we have, a, as we well know, a proven coach. Um, <laughs> Yeah, Who, by the way, yeah, keeps jabbing it in. Keeps there. going on about the fact that he's won the end of the so, Somehow every anecdote comes back to every single analysis is, oh, do you remember that time? Do you remember that time? Yes, oh, we remember. Remember. Yeah, but, uh, remember. 
But in 2014, we were in Portland in our 15, whatever. Like, okay. <laughs> we remember. We'll have new memories yeah, come we'll new October. Memories. Fair enough. <laughs> See, a little bit of motivation if we hadn't already forgot. <laughs> Uh, and, you know, as veterans and, and two players who are really committed to the stability of a club and of the league, what do you try to pass on to new players, young players that are coming onto the squad? Well, I think it's kind of what I touched on before. Um, you know, the goals of this club are very lofty. Uh, we want to win every single game, win the league, win the championship, be the best club in the world and, you know, on and off the field be, you know, the best people and the best players and the best club that we can possibly be. So I think that's kind of the, the standard and we try to commit to that every day and that's sort of the, the expectation um, of the club and we try to enjoy ourselves in the process and really, um, you know, sort of have a family type atmosphere. Um, obviously we have Bill and Teresa on the team and they're like 200 kids. So it's sort of all part of it. Um, and, and when we get that right, um, it's, it's a really special environment. What she said. <laughs> um, before, before I ask your final, final question, I'll ask you a few fun ones as well. If you weren't a soccer player, what would you be doing right now? I always ask this. I'm like, if I was going to be doing something better, I'd be doing it. <laughs> Nothing better. <laughs> it's fair. Thank God I didn't have to make that choice. Lord knows. Yeah, I don't, I don't actually know what I would be doing. You know, could be anything. Could be in jail, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That's your mind went <laughs> first, huh? That's <laughs> what so my mother always says. Yeah. If you didn't play football, you'd be in jail right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take football then. Yeah. Um, we might have gotten a preview to this answer already. Um, who's the best singer on the team? Well, it's got to be Naho, doesn't it's it? It's got to be Naho. She hit us with the headphone karaoke this year. <laughs> Unbelievable. I was like, kind of like watching the clip, and then a couple seconds, I was like, oh, she's like really good. She's actually, she's actually really good. She's really good. I don't know the song, but <laughs> <laughs> sounded nice. It's called Fortune Cookie, apparently. All right, there you go. Look it up. <laughs> Is there a, a lot of um, younger girls when I was growing up had male athletes a lot to look up to? Um, now there's so many more options for us in, in all sorts of sports. Is there a woman's uh, soccer player athlete that you really looked up to when you were getting into the sport? You know, when I was growing up in Wales, like this tiny little country about this big. <laughs> um, there really wasn't much exposure to, to uh, women athletes at all. Um, so for me, there wasn't really at all, um, which is a shame. And I'm glad that that's changed because I believe that there's now hundreds of fantastic women athletes out there to be role models. Um, so no, for me, not. But um, like I said, I'm just pleased that that has changed. and. We get to be one of those people, I guess, kind of, maybe. Yeah. For better or for worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's us. Um, we were a little bit more lucky as we had the, the women's national team. Um, I think I was so 99. I would have been like 14 years old. Um, and kind of the, the couple years before that, the Olympics in Atlanta in 96. We were lucky to have the Olympics here and the World Cup here. Um, in those consecutive years, otherwise, um, we probably, you know, it wouldn't have happened probably, and we likely wouldn't have even been sitting here. <laughs> that sort of kicked it all off, I think. So, kind of at that young age, um, we were able to have that. So, Tiffany Milbert is, and Christine Lilly are my my favorites. Yeah, I think Tiff is up for um, Hall of Fame induction, right? Which is crazy that she's not in. She's like. Probably the you know the fourth or fifth best player ever, um, and was probably the fourth or fifth option all of the time. So for her to be able to do what she did uh, was pretty incredible. So she's not in here, but <laughs> we'll give her a shout out. Oh, shout out, <laughs> Tiff. Um, I will. We'll end then. Um, I already asked players this question in many forms, but 
Uh, we have the first game of the season coming up on Saturday. You have a lot of season ticket holders here who are already big Rain fans, but we also know that Seattle is a huge soccer community. What do you want us to tell our fellow soccer fans um, about the Seattle Rain this season? Just tell them that we're going to rock. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to kick some booty, and we are going to make the playoffs. So whoever said that is just, I don't get what sport they're watching if they think our roster is not going to make playoffs. But um, yeah, I mean, look, we're, we have a product that is, that is fun. You know, it, not only is it greater what it does, but it's very fun. You get to watch this one, do what she does, you know, and everybody else that's in our, in our team. I often get, whenever I speak to people who've come to the rain, they often go to the Sounders too. And I'm, I'm not comparing the two because I love the Sounders as much as I, no, I don't. False, <laughs> false. I was about to say that and I stopped false. myself. I do enjoy the Sounders. That's better. Um, but the experience that they get at the rain, they always say, is better than the experience that they get at the Sounders. And so, you know, if we can, you know, put the two together so they come to the rain and experience that and then realize that, that would be phenomenal because, you know. And I know that memorial seats hurt your bum a little bit, <laughs> but you can just bring a cushion or something and then you'll be fine. Should be standing up anyways. <laughs> First, tell all your Sounders friends about us. Yeah, right. everyone's doing that. I was like, it's such a big soccer city. I'm like, well, they could come to our games too. That would be awesome. Um, it will be fun this year. I think uh, it will, we always have fun. Um, even when we don't do as well as, as we want to, we do always have fun. So there's always that. But I think we're going to do better than we, than we have the last couple of years. Uh, at least we should. Um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be enjoyable. Um, I think that you're going to see a, a lot of passion and heart um, out there mixed with um, a lot of good soccer stuff and all of that. So we're excited. Um, I think this is, it's kind of interesting for, you know, we have a new coach, new players and everything. It's like we're coming off a couple of years um, that were very disappointing for us. And I think um, Blacko would say the same um, about just not making the playoffs and, and not quite uh, getting the results and performances that he wanted out of his, his team. So it's like we, we sort of have this perfect storm of, of everybody really eager to, to get back to a level that, um, that we want to be at. So, and I'm sure you guys feel the same also. <laughs> Here's to new um, stories that Vlaco can tell after the end of the season then, right? <laughs> And those polls, so those polls came out with all like, it was like, oh, GM's polls. I'm like, how is that not dead even split between all the teams of like, why does one team have all this percentage? Shouldn't every GM be voting for their own team? Shouldn't it be like an equal percentage? <laughs> as soon as that came out, I was like, people are already not betting on themselves. That is crazy. <laughs> That's the first thing I thought, like, you're just picking someone else to win. I mean, it's realistic because some teams are not going to win. Here. I thought that media, I was like, why don't we just split it all up equal, just call it a day. <laughs> nope. That wasn't Bill, I know that. <laughs> well, thank you so much. We're so excited for the season to kick off. She's like, get off. <laughs>